Hi, Don Bailey here, and I'm going to give you another tutorial on how to take care of this. Excuse me, can I help you? Excuse me, what's this? This is this is Don Don Bailey. I don't think so. It, it says ID. it says Don. It says Don. This what is my assistant, about? little Don. What's he doing with my coat? What's this about? <laughs> you want to take over here? Yeah, All I'm right. inspired to be Don. Well, let's see you do it. Okay, this thingy goes. Uh, together? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, why do you have my coat on anyway? Um, well, I, got the, I got the cleaner one, actually. You got the dirty one. Well. Anyway. All right, so, Glenn, you may recall we did one and two, and that was all the components. Now we're going to put this baby together. Awesome. So, the first thing I think we need to do is to cut some felt that goes in this groove right here. Okay. And that's for purposes of lubrication and keeping the dirt out. There's two screws in here that as this thing wears, you can clamp down on it. Okay. So I cut a little notch right here for this screw that is in the middle. It actually opens up the slot, which is what that does. Okay. So And I'm the gonna... screws bolt down on top of it? Correct. Okay. So I'll take this marker here and if you'll just hold that flush with the inside there. Okay. I'll kind of mark this like so. Oh, that won't work, so let's do it this way. How about we put dot a the screw. See if that works, huh? I'll bet you that did. Might have. A little magic marker on there. Put it in the hole. Let's go. Break time. Break time. Break Sorry. Time. Turn it this way? Yeah. We're on break now, sorry. Sorry. So, how's the family? Good, real good. Good, good. Golf game all right? Golf game's all right, good, yes. Good, good, good. Music's good? Music's always good, yeah. Break's over? Break's over. Break's over. <laughs> all right. Boy, that's pretty cool. That's working we in all good. the way. I wonder if we were in all the way. I'm going to cut this a little big. All right. We can always trim it, right? Yeah. Let it hang out. I like hanging out. Yeah, I do too. Especially a uh, glass of wine in the hand. Glass of wine in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, we're about to take a trip. Go drink some wine. Ooh, where? We are going to... Uh, a place called Burns Steakhouse, which is, happens to be in Tampa, Florida. Very cool place. I want you to have my bags ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pack them for you. You might not like what I put in them, but I'll pack them for you. <laughs> All right, so let's see how this works. Yeah, it's flush on this side. Yeah, we're, we're up against inside here, so we'll have to trim it a little bit, but that's okay. That's on the outside. Right, we'll trim the outside. All right, so what I'm going to do is I will trim it right now a little bit just to make it easier. And I'm going to put some grease on here, which I think would be a good thing to do to provide some form of lubrication for... Whey, the, whey oil or, or well, grease? Well, I think, I think I'm going to put grease on there. Okay. And the reason Oh, I'm, you're talking about this grease. Right. Mobile. But I think also we will put some whey oil on there when we put it together. No way. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I like that. Yes way. No way. Yes way. Okay. There's not much on there, dude. This is that. Uh, well, look at that. It matches the color. You know? Is this magic grease? I remember using this one as a kid. Well, that was paste. No, 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 on my bike, on my bike chain. And Pace, you used to eat it. Oh. <laughs> Remember that? Yep. I never liked uh, the taste of it. No. No. But. This doesn't taste good either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, so I think. This is old school grease, isn't it? Yeah. Now we need to turn this upside down. So I'm going to put it here for now. Just a minute, not that. Oh, place. that upside yeah. down. Yeah, I'm going to need some more grease here. Um, oh, I see. I see. And we'll have to saying. clean up the mess, but that's the way it is. So 
the crease on both sides. And just so you're aware of it, one of the a couple of things that we did in this last video, as you know, we we went ahead and ground the shaft. Yep. And we, uh, but since then, I've taken. Uh, hand me that cloth here, please. Thank you. Shop rag. Shop rag. Uh, I've also made a shim for this area. We milled this slot out and we ground this flat because this was all worn. This was this had a big uh, yeah, taper real, it was in it. real Remember sloppy, that? yeah. So now we have a nice slip fit Ooh, and we bored nice. this hole out because the pin that was in there was totally wasted. So now we're able to. So you don't tighten it down until you get that in there, right? That's correct. We're not going to tighten it down at all, actually. We're just going to oh. put the screws in. Okay. But that's a good thought. So now that we've got the felt pretty much in there, I think. There you go there. You almost said it. Pull it to the left. There we go. Okay, I think I like that for now. Clean up our mess here. Not that bad. Leave for that one guy who does all the cleanup. Good guy. <laughs> Rob. Yep. Good guy. We need more guys like him around here. All right, mm -hmm. I don't think we need the scissors any longer, at least not for right. a while. So the next thing is going to be to put the shaft in. Um, this beautiful shaft here. Look yeah, you know what? Before we put it in, I That's think I'd gorgeous. rather I think I'd rather go ahead and put uh, put this lever in. And uh, the pin, we're going to need a little grease for this as well. All right. Right here. Go and give it a good generous amount on there, both sides, please. And we'll put just a little bit on the face right here. Perfect. Thank you. And we'll slide this baby in like so. Now we're going to take the pin. Got that greased up pretty good. Whoa, almost slipped away. Okay, you gotta tap it in. Slide in the way. You got that lined up, right? We're gonna find out. I wanna make sure that you see these dowel pins have a taper at one end, see right here? Yeah. A little lead there, so I had that upside down. You wanna make sure the lead okay. the lead is down. There we go. And I'm going to line this up a little bit with this punch from the bottom to make sure that we have this. Oh, it's going to say how do you make sure? Yeah. yeah, you don't really know, and then you could have a problem. So you're putting that up from underneath, and it'll just pop it right out. Right. So that should have it pretty close. Nope. Not yet. See if that's in. Not yet. Wiggle that handle, see if that's in yet. Nope. nope. How about now? Nope. How about now? Nope. Getting close? Try that. Starting to go in? It's starting to go in. Perfect. Yep. Nice slip fit. Actually, I call that a press fit. Oops. Okay. There you go. That's a little snug, but that'll loosen up. All right. <laughs> yep, that'll be fine. All right. Good slip fit. All right, next thing we're going to do is I cleaned this hole out already. So I right. blew it out. I got it nice and clean. So we're going to take a little whale oil and we're going to put it on the shaft. Remember I said we put these we put the carbide pins in here right yep. there. Yep. So those are ready to go. 
this way or that way or well, just we're way? We're going to do some of both. We'll put some in here. And we're going to put some on the shaft. This guy's sloppy. Oh, that's you can hit. That's what my wife says. You guys, you guys on the wrong side. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's let's show our audience here what he's doing here. Lubing that up. Spit some oil in there. Some oil in here. But this is a pretty snug fit right here. It's custom fit. Look at that. Nice slip fit. Real slip. All right now. Just want to make sure that it fits right. Okay. Yo. Nobody can see what you're doing. Sorry, right, I can't see what I'm doing either. <laughs> Ouch. Well, I like the fit. Nice slip fit. All right, I'm comfortable that that's going to be okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put the springs in. And the springs go right in here. In there? Yep. And we have one that was a little bit different from the others. So we've got some pins that are in that plastic bag, Glenn, right there. Some of these stuck out at a, at, at a different amount. For whatever reason, see that? So, so we made some slugs that go back in the hole. You want to stick it in there? You right. can do that. Nubbins. Oh, nubbins. Nubbins? What's he saying? I don't know. I don't he's, know. He's just yelling over there. What are you talking about, boy? <laughs> oh, more pins. Stick it in there. Where am I at here? All right. All right, Glenn, one more. One more. One more spring over there. There we go. All right, so now we can put it together the way it ought to be. What is the springs doing like? I mean, what is it? Uh, you're going to see. It's a good question, but you'll see. That gives it the pressure. So now we'll put this nut on. You want to screw that nut on? Oh, there it is. This way? Yep. Okay. Go push ahead. it push forward. Not too much. It's easier if you just try to put it on when it's flush. Okay. Okay. I see how that works. You just got to put this little one in there? Uh, we will in a bit. Okay. There's a slot in there. This little guy goes in there. It's nice and clean. Yep. The say handle supposed to come all the way back? No, it doesn't come all the way back, but it's a little snug right now, so we're going to have to work it in. Okay. But that's pretty much it now. All we have to do is get rid of this tough spot right there. Right. This is to adjust the pressure that you might want on your workpiece. Remember the uh, the center goes in here in the OD grinder like so. Right. So that's what, and there's uh, this taper back here. That's what that's about. Okay. And. Now, what you were talking about was to put that pin in there, which little that pin. drops in there. There it goes. There we go. It just stays there, no, no stays tightening there, or nothing? No, doesn't do a thing. Just sits there and looks it's, dumb. Okay. Like me. Yeah, that's why I'm done today. That's right. Okay. Well, there we go. We've got this thing all together. We've got a couple screws we need to put in. And I think we're pretty much done. Am I missing something, Jim? You want to put it on the machine? Uh, we can. I think we should do that in a few minutes, if you're good with that. Do you, have the, do you got to tighten those? Or? Yeah, we'll snug them down a little bit. Which one? Should be this guy. 
Let's test him. See if he's got it. No, huh? I missed it. <laughs> See, I told you it was this one. Wrong. No? It's bigger. Well, it's bigger. That's what she always wants that. Just metric. Metric? You're both nuts. I knew I had it right. He had the third handle to the left. But you gotta get the one. Look at that, it is metric. Wow. That's an that's a old piece of machinery to be metric. Well, it's an import, you know, it came from, I think it came from England, didn't it? Was it England or Germany? I don't remember now. Or Italian? You know why they come Italians? I don't think I want to know. They're always telling you what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what to do, eh? Let me tell you something. Well, I should ask you a question. See if you know the answer. In the United States, what do they call, what's the abbreviation for the ships for United? What, what do they say? In other words, we call our Navy, all of our naval ships have a symbol on them or a, 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 a fleet? No. 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 USS. What USS. Does that, what does that stand for? The United States. Mm, mm. Service? Ships. Ships. United States ships. Okay. Ah, ship. Uh, about England. HMS. HMS. Her Majesty's ships. Oh, uh, Her Majesty. Italy. IMB. Um, Italian uh, Marine. <laughs> it's in my boat. It's in my boat. <laughs> That's a joke of the day. <laughs> By the way, somebody asked me, if I had to do it all over again, what would I do differently? Break time again. Break time again. We just That's all we do around here. <laughs> if, I had, if I had to do it over again, what would I do over? I'd, I'd married my second wife first. Yeah. You know her. Okay. Yeah, I know her. This thing is plugged up. Anyway. Sure, the felt isn't in No. No, okay. it's a, it's oh, the, the, the screw itself is plugged up. Okay, so we're pretty much good to go, Jim. I think we can take it over to the uh, OD grinder and put it on. He makes a good assistant, doesn't he? You do a good job, Don. Thank you. I'm impressed. That's why I have this company. Pull on that <laughs> handle. Let's see what it's like. A little snug, right? A little snug. All right, it'll free up. This thing is definitely uh, stripped. That is the hex is. Oh. Right, we need to get another bolt. Hex nut. Hex bolt. Hex bolt. Not nut. Uh, we can, we can. I can say that because I'm not Don. Don would never say that. All right, let's roll. Let's go over to the OD grinder. Roll the board. Go. Yeah. Here. Okay, I'm testing right, you. Let me wipe it down. Need some whale or no? No, I think we're good with that. Just need to... All right, so... The ways on this machine where the tailstock slides probably has boogers on it and it's dirty. So even when you're grinding, you're going to get grit and grime underneath it. But we got to give it a fighting chance. So what I want to do is just at least stone it off good to make sure that there are no burrs on there. And I want to clean it off with mineral spirits for the same reason. And again, this is a work surface right here. So I feel pretty good about that. Wipe it down. Now we're waiting for Don to come over here, uh, Glenn, to come over here with uh, our part. All right. Wait a minute. What? We got. I want to stone the bottom of that. Oh, so yeah. Make sure that that's good. So I want to wipe this off with mineral spirits. Mineral spirits. There you go. Give me a little squirt. Perfect. I love it. Again, it's a work surface. Let me turn that around so you can see it, Jim. Work surface here here and there. Again, stoning a little bit. You know, and there's grit and grime that's going to get underneath this on a daily basis. <coughs> Excuse me, but we got to give it a fighting chance, like I said. 
<coughs> this piece has to go in here like so. <coughs> and then you can lift this up, Glenn. That would adjust the height? No, that actually tightens it. Oh, okay. So that's going to go right up against this. Okay. It goes up underneath. <coughs> Put it on anywhere on there you like. And this is pretty heavy. Not to me. That's me. Lift <laughs> it up. Set, go forward. Right there. There you go. Oh, and then you come back. There you go. I now get it. it. Now you tighten it. Nice and slippery. And we take the wrench. We hop on. Move it where we want it. Give it a snug. And we are ready to go, baby. And no slop, no shake. No rattle, no roll. Shake, rattle, make, and roll. Make our own here. So there we have it. I'm loving it. We got lots of travel now. We probably have uh, probably five eighths or three quarters of an inch of travel, which is all you're going to get out of this anyway. How long will this last before you need to redo everything again? Another hundred years. Another hundred years. We're good for another hundred. So that's it. So next time we come out here, we're ready to go ahead and do some OD grinding. We'll be able to put this baby to work. Cool. You like it? So. Speaking for uh, Suburban Tooling, everybody, Don Bailey here. I want to say uh, have a good night. I'm a little Don here. I'm the newbie. <laughs> He's the newbie. Good job, dude. Good job. It was a fun project. That was a fun project. <laughs> Hope everybody enjoyed it. Keep subscribing. Thanks for watching. we got new stuff coming up. By the way, we worked on a jig grinder. Uh, we're rebuilding that a little bit. And uh, we're going to show you how we're doing that. And that's coming up in the next, uh, what, three, four, five episodes, Jim? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's kind of exciting. We're really excited about getting this jig grinder going, getting it back in service. So keep on trucking, keep an eye on us, keep watching, and thanks for watching.